Here's Irving. Irving moving into the front court. Goes reverse. Over the top pick up, driving hard. Boom. And then we're scoring it. If you guys like this workout compared to the other ones, we're going to be offering more extensive breakdowns with film studies um, in there uh, on our website um, where you guys can sign up um, and get all access to our, our detailed workouts and film breakdowns to really help your guys um, game so you guys can get the hidden details um, that you might not get anywhere else. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, make sure to subscribe. If you guys want t-shirts, the links will be down in the description. We got t-shirts, shorts, three different colors. Hope you guys will support that G2G brand. God bless. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to our channel, guys. If you're new, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications so you never miss a video. All right, so we're reading one of y'all's comments and you guys asked for a Kyrie Irving workout. So that's what we are bringing you guys today. Now, everybody knows that Kyrie has one of the deepest offensive packages. His bag is super deep, so we're not gonna get into you know everything because that'd be impossible but we are going to touch um, on some of the skills um, that make him so so great um, and so we're giving you guys some drills to work on that so maybe you guys can emulate Kyrie Irving's game obviously you guys know Kyrie Irving he's known for his ball handling so what we're going to do is we're going to work moving ball handling just put some combos together um, just to really test our ball handling so right now we're going to be moving we're going to go two crosses to it between the legs one two three one, two, three. 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 Good. And then same thing going back. One, two, three. 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 Woo! So for me, I'm just going to the foul line, but based on uh, your level of ball handling, you might want to go to half court or go all the way down. Um, whichever you feel is going to help your handle next. Now I'm going to go two between the legs to a crossover. Same thing going back. Two cross, two cross, two cross, two cross, two cross, two cross. Nice. Good. Now I'm going to go between, between my legs, back through, between. And I'm switching every single time. So a lot of between the legs here. Same thing here. Now I'm going to go two between, still behind the back. Now you guys can put in any three combos, four combos, five combos you want. These are just the ones that I'm doing right now, just to give you guys an idea. But you guys can literally do any type of combos you want. Just pick a couple moves, put them together, see how they feel, and just really push yourself. Go as hard as you can. Ah! Last one. Ah. Woo. Now I'm going to go last one here. I'm just going to go cross between behind, cross between behind, down and back. One, two, three. 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 Woo. Last time. One, two, three. 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 Woo. And that is it for the handle. Obviously, you guys can do a little bit more moving, do more combos if you guys want. That's just where I'm gonna end it today. I kind of feel like I have a good handle already. Next, we're gonna talk about something that Kyrie Irving does a lot in transition. I'm sure you guys see it on film, is he's really good at these over the top with one hand pickups and then getting into a nice reverse layup, right? So people really know that they're probably not gonna take the ball from Kyrie Irving, but you'll see especially in transition, guards try to run through and steal the ball or their momentum is just taking them this way. And Kyrie's really good at countering that momentum with a hard dribble this way, like he's gonna go right. And then he takes the ball over the top of that reaching defender. Here, reads the help side coming down and will get into some fancy reverse layup. Now, I'm not saying that you guys need to do the fancy Kyrie Irving layups, right? A normal layup, a normal reverse will work. Um, but if you are advanced enough, that's something that you can work on because it's just going to help with your touch. At a transition, Kyrie will see his on-ball primary defender coming to cut him off. And right before he's about to cut him off, Kyrie's going to give him that quick step 
to make him think he's going in that same direction. And then he'll take the ball over the top of his defender. And then from there, Kyrie just has a really good sense. He'll feel, obviously bigs are taught to run down the middle. He'll feel that big or that secondary defender coming down. And most of the time he'll literally give a show. So they think he's scoring on the right side and then he gets to that left side. So we'll go through a couple reps right here. Here comes Irving. Irving moving into the front court, goes reverse. It's just silly. Over the top pickups, driving hard. Boom. And then we're scoring it. And you guys can mix up your finishes. You can go with the left hand, the right hand. Score on the same side, anything you want. We're here. Pick the ball up. Score that time I stayed same side. And we'll go one more here. The key on this one is you want to make sure that the ball and your left foot hit at the exact same time. So if you don't hit at the exact same time, what's end up going to happen is if you try to pick the ball up here on this step, that's one, two, three, and now we're in, we're in a travel, right? So we want to go here, making sure this step doesn't count with the dribble, and then we get two long steps after that. Hey. Oh. Hey. Nice. Out of transition, especially middle school, high school, pro level, you know, transition is going to be a big part of basketball, especially as you're younger, right? So middle school and high school, mostly your whole game is transition. Um, so you guys want to get really good at different finishes and different options into our finishing. Ten each side. So it's the same thing on the left side. The ball, the left hand pound, and the right foot's going to hit at the same time. Now we're going to talk about floaters. And one floater in particular that Kyrie Irving does a lot. And it's almost a kind of a bump off floater where when he attacks his man here and gets this guy on his side or even with him, he starts to veer into him to cut him off making that defender behind him stop because they don't want to run into him and get a foul. So they kind of back off and put their hands and stop and he'll get here in front and then he bounces out. So he has space and uses his outside hand for a floater. So right now we're just going to work our handle. Boom. We're going to get past our guy and then start to veer in and then quick pound and push off our inside foot. Quick pound, push on our inside foot, land on two feet and then get into our floater. Yep, same thing here. You guys can do anything, handle you want. Oh no. Hey. Oh. Nice. You guys want to mix up, mix up, shooting off the glass, shooting just straight on, no rim. Give yourself some challenges. Fear in, bounce out, land on two, up. It's called the bump off, in, out floater, whatever you want to call it. You're just veering in front of your defender bouncing out, landing on two, right over that help side, get your floater up. All right, now we're gonna work on one of Kyrie. Kyrie's really good at hesitating. Okay, so what we're gonna work on right here is what I like to call a partial stop, and Kyrie's really good at selling his shot. So he's gonna come off here, and he'll go right, left, like he's about to shoot it, right? So if we're dribbling left, and we go right, left, he'll bring his hand and it looks like he's about to shoot it, and then he takes off again with that left step or that right step. So it's Boom, sell my shot, and then I'm down again. And then getting into whatever finish you want. Irving with his third three-pointer. Irving off the switch. Fancy trip. Right now, I'll probably just do layups because they're the easiest right now, but you guys can work on jump shots. So you got your man here. I'm attacking. Stop. Little quick hezzy. I smoked it. Never mind. Key to this is to sell your feet right, left in the ground the exact same way that you would shoot it, right? So I want to... That looks like I'm about to pull up and shoot it, right? That's what's going to get that defender to jump. Oh! Good. We'll go one more here. Really pay attention to my feet. Pay attention to that right, left. My hand comes to the ball. My eyes go up to sell my shot. All right, you're going to go right, left here. Again, last one. We'll sell our shot. Oh! Different finishes right there. Got it. It's the same thing going the other way. Left, right. Hand, left hand comes to the ball. My eyes go to the rim like I'm about to shoot it. You guys can go to the right. You can cross over. Kyrie does that a lot where you get here and then cross back and goes quick. Okay. So let's just, I'll give you, I'll show you guys one right here on this side. Tag here, left, right, change. Hey. Lay her. All right, Kyrie.
being a right hand, def uh, right hand <laughs> Kyrie being a right hand defender. Kyrie being a right hand offensive player. He actually is a little unorthodox, as in most righties like to go hezzy left right because that's more comfortable. Kyrie Irving actually does his hesitations right left where he steps in. So this is a little bit harder of a shot. And you guys really want to work your footwork, your right left in close before you get this movement movement down. But essentially what you want to do is sell your drive with a hard right step lunge here. That ball is going to go outside my knee here. That looks like I'm about to drive, which is going to get that defender to back up. From there, Kyrie steps into a shot with that back foot and lets it fly. That's with a chance to tie or take the lead. Irving for the lead. Oh, yeah! Step in and then knock it down. You guys will probably want to make 10 and then do it both sides and do it with both hands. So go 10 even on this side, this way, this way, really drop, and then 10 on that side. Really get your hesitation down. If you guys are really good drivers, right, then this is a great move. Um, to have to get your defender to back up and then you get right into your shot. Okay, last one. We're going to go over Kyrie Irving's um, tween tween sidestep that he beat Golden State with uh, to help the Cavs win the finals back in 2016, I think. Right, so really this move here, he just quick sets up. He's trying to get his guy to open his feet. One, two, boom, a little bit of a hang, dribble, and then push off that inside foot into a sidestep. So. Irving and Curry, one-on-one, -on -one. Irving puts it up, it's good! All right, here we go, one, two, one, two, side step over, good. It'll be the same thing with the other side. So when you're on the right side of the court, your left foot's gonna be open, you're gonna open them up. So you wanna sell them open up to the middle, right? If he opens up to the middle, you'll have more space. So I'm one, two, open that top foot to the middle, and then I side step off that left foot. And it'd be the, just the opposite on the right, or the left side. You'll go right foot forward, one, two, and then I'm pushing off that front foot forward. That completes our Kyrie Irving workout.